If we were to truly study a galaxy's life, we would need billions of years to watch it form and grow. Now that is way longer than I plan on being in graduate school. <laughs> so to figure out how galaxies change over time, astronomers like me have to act more like archaeologists. We look for clues that represent a tiny snapshot into a galaxy's history. Now, a whole lot can happen to a galaxy in billions of years. There are violent bursts of star formation, energetic deaths of massive stars, and collisions between galaxies. I'm particularly interested in those collisions called galaxy mergers or galactic cannibalism. Mergers tear apart smaller galaxies while feeding larger ones. They can completely change the way a galaxy looks and behaves, so they are a critical part of a galaxy's evolution. I look for signs of mergers in two nearby beautiful galaxies, Andromeda and Triangulum. To study these galaxies, I use one of the largest telescopes on Earth to observe stars in them. You see, the thing about stars is their gossips. They give away many of their secrets just through their light. With cutting-edge technology, we can measure how fast a star is moving while we are millions of miles away. I use this to compare how fast the young and the old stars are moving. If there's a difference, then we think that something must have happened to the galaxy in the time between when the young and the old stars were born. And that something just could be a merger. Using this technique, I found that the Andromeda galaxy likely had a major merger in the past four billion years. Now, this is relatively recent and actually changes what we know about the kinds of mergers spiral galaxies can survive. It also calls into question its interaction history with its smaller neighbor, Triangulum. So for the past four years, I've been observing stars in Triangulum, and I've found that there's not much difference between how the young and the old stars are moving. This suggests that, so far, Triangulum has been left alone by Andromeda and by other smaller galaxies that have passed by recently. But it won't stay that way forever. Triangulum will collide with Andromeda in billions of years. And it's actually not the only one. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is also on a crash course to colliding with Andromeda in the far future. We won't be around to watch that merger, but the work I'm doing today does give us a glimpse into the future of our own galactic home. Thank you. <laughs>